America Corona Valley with CareStream Health, and I'm here today with um, Dr. Michael G with Mass General Hospital. And um, Dr. G is a recipient of CareStream's um, contribution to the um, RSNA Research Foundation, and you've um, been our grant recipient since 2010, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Great. Now, I was hoping you could talk a little bit about um, how you've been using um, that grant and, and the focus of your research and what progress you've made over the last year. Sure, sure. Um, well, thanks for having me, Erica. Um, so this is year two of the Research Scholar Grant, um, and so the overall um, aim of the project is um, my research colleagues uh, at Mass General and the Center for Systems Biology and the Department of Radiology um, have developed a miniaturized uh, NMR chip um, that we've been trying to use to do gene expression profiling in, in cancer patients. So the idea would be that um, if we can move um, beyond just looking at changes in tumor size on conventional imaging studies and start looking inside of the tumor cells themselves at a very early time point and try to see which genes are turned on and turned off in a patient's cancer, um, we would be able to predict what kinds of therapies that patient would be um, sensitive to. And as well, we'd be able to um, track patients throughout the course of therapy and try to detect uh, resistance much faster. So the overall all idea would be that you know we can really tailor cancer therapy to the individual patient. Um, so that's the overall goal of the project. And you know, so far in the little over a year um, that I've had the grant, we've been doing a lot of pilot studies, um, basically establishing that the kinds of uh, genetic markers that we would want to look for in cancer patients um, are able to be detected with our technology. And so, you know, it's, it's gone very well. We've done a lot of work mostly with um, cancer, human cancer cell lines. And in the next month or so, we'll be, we'll be beginning the human trial where we'll basically have cancer patients and we'll test the the, the new machine and see see how well it works. So That's great. Now, um, scholars like yourself have been presenting in, I think, over 250 sessions um, this week, and you presented yesterday. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that session? Sure. So that session was, you know, it was sponsored by the RSNA, mm -hmm. and it really was meant to um, inspire a lot of the radiology trainees, medical students, and residents about the kinds um, the kinds of research uh, projects that they might want to be involved in later in their careers, oh, and so, great. so it was great. You know, obviously, um, being the recipient of the care the care stream grant um, provided me a nice opportunity to to talk to a lot of young people, tell them about my research, and you know, sort of talk to them a little bit about the steps, you know, that are needed to go from being a trainee towards you know being an in independent investigator. So. Oh, that sounds like a really useful session. Too. Yeah, it was very well attended. So, so it was good. Great. Now, are there any topics that are of particular interest for you at this year's show, or um, things that are really top of mind that you're on the hunt for? Well, um, you know. The pace of technology, you know, advancement, as you know, in radiology has been just so, so great. I mean, I know, you know, we, our hospital, you know, recently installed a PET MR scanner. You know, we're one of the first sites to have one of those. And looking around, you know, certainly um, there have been lots of educational and research um, projects devoted to combining different imaging techniques to try to see if we can... Um, combine anatomy with functionality and imaging all kinds of diseases. That's been certainly a hot area at this meeting. Great. Well, I want to thank you for your time. I'm sure you have a lot of things that you're eager to see. So thank you so much, and good luck with the rest of your research. Okay. Thanks okay. very much.